Hi guys, welcome back. This is part three. I am gonna, this is 24 gauge wire. We're gonna lace this up. And I do have a playlist and I did it with an alternating color so that you could see what I was doing. And I'm not gonna go into great detail as I do it. Like I said, it, it is in a playlist. So I have the 24 gauge wire and I did not measure. We just take some and hold it around the hoop. Now if this was a round hoop and I wasn't doing it the way I'm going to do this one, it would just be a loose little fit. The last one I did came up short and I had to add wire. It's not a big deal, but I would much rather it come out the same on with one piece of wire. So I'm just going to bring this up in between two roots and I'm going to push it down. Bring it up. What we're doing is basically the same as you do the way I do the top of every branch. And you cross it over it. If I can catch it. There we go. And then just push it up and bend it so that it's not catchy. There we go. So what we're going to do now, I can move all these tools. I should have started on the other side. It's all right. I like to start on my right. So anyway, what we're going to do, I'm going to go around the hoop bring it up and we're gonna grab a four millimeter bicone I do have them all mixed so it might be a little bit extra but it's okay and because it's a bicone it will sit nicely on your hoop if you hold it there and everyone will lie exactly the same just hold on to your bicone bring the wire up I'm going to pass it through the hoop again, like this, bring it up, and we're going to catch another bicone. No, I'm not spacing them any particular amount. I'm just going to eyeball it. And whatever it is, it is. It'll be beautiful. Bring it up. I'm going to grab another bicone. And I'm going to cross over the top of that wire so that it no longer can move. That's lacing. And I do it like that because I don't want my branches to slip. And once I put a chain in a jump ring, I know from experience. I broke a tree that way that I really liked. And I had it hanging for a long time. It just kept separating and eventually the pressure point from moving snapped. And back then I didn't know how to fix it, so I lost. Okay, now we're gonna go over this one. Could put a bicone there. Yeah, may as well. I do have to do the more. I would love to be able to just put a whole bunch on the wire, but because I'm wrapping it through, it would just be too much. So now hold on to it. And push your wire down. Give it a little tug. And bring it up. You still have to hold on to your beads. You don't want them to move. After a few, the first couple won't move. But you don't want to take any chances. Like for example, this one here. After I do this, will definitely not move. 
Now the difference, as you can see, these move. Once you put a lace, they don't move. And that means they're not going to separate over time. So, just always hold on to the one you just did. And you want the one that you're working on now. I'm losing my wire. Pass it down. Bring it up. Keep nice and firm. And it'll lay pretty. slide down. I didn't see it slide down. Okay. Give it a pull. Pretty, huh? I feel a wire right there. I'm going to have to come back for it. Okay. I'm going to hold on to your work. Even though I'm letting it go, I, I still, it's just a good habit. And I try to have good habits. Alright, I'm working on having good habits. That's better. I'm bring it up. Give it a good tug. You see, they're all the same. A bicone will lay down nice like that. The round ones, not so much. I mean, you can make it happen, but I'm not going to fight with a bead more than I already do. And pass it down. Oops. Give it a tuck. Now I'm going to cross over the top of this branch, and that will secure that branch. Just check the placement. Oops, not you. Pass it down. Try that again. Give it a tug. Bring it up. And I think I will put a bicone there. Maybe, I don't know. Will it fit there? We'll make it fit. I'm going to go right over the top of that branch. Pass it down. Turn it up. I'm going to go over the hoop. It's a little bit time consuming as opposed to just wrapping without the bead, the bicone on the outside, but it sure is pretty. Oh, that's my wrist. <laughs>
Now I'm going to go right across that one. It's too close for a bicone, I think. Clean it up. I am wrapping it around the hoop in between because it, there's so much of a big space. I don't want to like push it over and have too much wire showing at the top. This way here it looks nice and nice and neat. Um, if you do it in a four inch um, or a bracelet, sometimes you don't have to go around the hoop twice. You know, in between, you can just go from branch to branch. You know, it's pretty custom. Um, you do it where you think you need it. If you think you need an extra pass around the hoop, then just put it there. But the important thing is the difference between the, this, where these branches will all slide. None of these move. They're all in the, the proper place. You can adjust it a little, not a lot, especially on a heart. If this were in a round hoop, you can move them. I mean, they can move, but they're not going to separate and you're not going to have it break down in a, you know, by a limb. Because that would be unfortunate. And if that happens, go to your playlist. I'll show you how to fix it. Oh no. It's not going to go there. That's where the solder point is and the wire and the, with the bicone. It just said, no, I'm not going to force it. It's really hot when you work with these real long wires because they get that little kink in it. And it's just enough to make me aggravated. <laughs> uh, the one I did, um, the Crescent Moon, I did a tutorial on that too. Um, the wire had to be very long because the entire project is made with just one huge long piece of wire. And I think I actually had to add in. But I haven't made one of those in. It's been a minute. It's been a year. 
I don't plan on making any more. I do have, I think there's still one left on Etsy. Um, but last Christmas, that's that was the thing. I sold a lot of them. And the one actually that's in the cart now, not the cart, that's on Etsy, I might actually take it down. I had thrown, I think I had three left. Um, no, maybe two. And I threw them up quick for a sale just to get rid of them because I'm not making any more. And um, that's that. This year I'm working on different things for the holidays. Um, I do have a request for two more hearts. And that will keep me busy. I don't know if I'm going to record them. Probably not. Like I said, I'm going to be doing things a little bit different on the channel. I'm going to take it back down a step for beginners. Probably work in a four inch hoop or a bracelet just to break it down because I've been working so much on other bigger projects on here and also on my own time. Yeah, I'm going to take a break from them. The only thing I might do, I did the rustic tree in um, antique bronze wire, and I'm going to do, I think, another one, but I think I want to do it in silver, and it came out really cute, and I have a huge thing of that silver, and that's aluminum wire, and the antique bronze one, I think my son put it on Etsy, I'm not sure. It's either there or in the tote. You know, right around the holidays, there are a lot of um, craft shows, and that's going to be taking my tote. I'll probably be heading out with my daughter in law to a few of them, and they're coming up soon. Yeah, I made a couple of hundred dollars last year. Uh, about four. Yeah. In less than three hours. Everything. We just sold out of everything. So. My tote is ready. Let's see if I am. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. If not, she can go. My son will go with her. Oops. We got a jumper. Sorry about that. I think we're just gonna make it, guys, with this long piece of wire. So I think I went around about one and a half times around the loosely around the shape of the heart, and it's because of that extra um, wrap around the hoop. And then also the distance between the hole of the bead, it, it, like all these, that that matters. That changes your wire. I mean, that takes a lot of wire. What's the matter, Abby? You good girl? She's very verbal today. It's very needy. My poor girl. Okay. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, um, if you love cats, on my playlist you'll meet Abby and Finn. She's very old, and uh, she's a handful to take care of these days. That's okay. My kids were a handful too. And she's my baby. Okay, we're almost done. There we go. 
and did I? I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm not gonna try and match. I think there is one there. I actually had started and then t said no, 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 because I didn't go to the root. I started way up here. I don't know. I don't remember what I did last time, but I don't think I went around the root, around the bottom part. I think I just did this right here. It's right enough to go around the root. And I think that's overkill. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe next time. I have two more to do. Okay, so the way we're going to end it is the way we end every row. I'm going to wrap it around my hoop. Give it a little tug. Pass it down. Again, give it a tug. Bring it up. Cross it over and cut it off. That's how it looks for now. What we're going to do next is we're going to attach the prism. Did I lose the jump ring? Oh. I had it right here on it and it fell off. Where'd it go? jump rings right here. I was going to use a different one, but that's all right. I dropped this whole container on the floor. Whoops. Thank God it was locked. That would have been fun. I think this, I think this size should work. I like the other one because it's thicker. That's all right. I'll make it work. I'm not great at jump rings. These ones here bend really easy and getting it on the hoop where the roots are is a pain in the butt for me anyway if it's not on right the pendant won't hang properly okay do i have it The only way I can tell is if I put it on, and if it's not, then I'll have to fix it. I know, I'm supposed to use two, two pair of pliers to do this. For me, it doesn't matter. Usually I just provide it with one and squish it, but I will try to do it the right way. at it and I think it's in the wrong spot yeah it is it's in the wrong spot it needs to be over one unless I can I can't tell I might have to hang it up to tell no definitely in the wrong spot 
That's all right. I'll come back and I'll take that off and redo it. But I do want to show you. All I'll do is move, take the jump ring off. It's hard for me to really tell. Let me count. Yeah, it's off by one. There's ten wires and it's in between the ninth and the tenth. But I really want it right there. That's all right. I'll take it off and move it. But the way I'm going to do my chain after I untangle it. You can get chain anywhere. Your craft store has it. It's a pretty good, you know, they have a good variety. I'm going to mark my chain like where I would like it I think right there would be good so now you can't see a thing I'm doing alrighty we're gonna do that again I'm thinking from here to here and it's good because there's a bike home right there in there and if there wasn't we could still do it so now what I'm gonna do is bring it up and that is I think that would be too high from the heart. I'm going to fold it in half. Let's see. I would rather not waste chain. Well, it doesn't waste because I put little pieces in between lots of different projects. Oh, yeah, that's too long. I'm going to cut some off. Just some. I'm not measuring it. Okay. Now, try it again. From there to there. These are too big. Yeah, I'm gonna take out two smaller than that. And if they don't work, then I'll come back and grab the two different sizes. <clears throat> Definitely not these two. Even though they're all in like this, they're pretty much in the same. <clears throat> But they do get mixed up. There's a lot in here. Oh, those are small. <laughs> I can't find that size. <gasps> um, maybe you. <laughs> Oh, that's definitely, <clears throat> excuse me guys, I'm losing my voice. Okay. That's enough. We're going to try it with this. I like the thicker by, um, by call, the thicker, um, jump ring for, like up here. I'm trying to grab a chain that's not there, guys. Okay, let's put this on first. Grab the chain. I think the last time I did this, I had to adjust it afterwards. This is just showing you basically how I do it. It's a little at an odd angle trying to show you. Let's see up here. This hoop is too big. I don't like it. I don't know if 
you can hear that motorcycle. Where I live, this guy has a motorcycle and he drives around like a nut. Okay. I lost my chain. Where'd it go? For real, guys, I don't see my chain. Nope, oh, that's attached. tangled up on my heart. I did not see that. It's like the time I went crazy looking for the wire, not the wire, yeah, the wire to lace the tree, and I just couldn't find it. So then I got the wire, I was going to cut another piece, and then I realized, oh, I already laced the tree. I had just finished. It's a thing. I'm gonna struggle with this today. If it doesn't work, then I'm just gonna Shut off the camera and sit down and just do it. Now I'm under the piano. Am I under the wire? I am. I'm not going to catch a break today. There we go. I have to be really careful with these jump rings because the space, if I don't close it enough, the chain will go through. And if I close it too much, I'll bend the jump ring. Let's see. I don't know if I like it. I think it doesn't look right in front of the jump ring. I don't know. I'll need to do the other one and then I'll figure it out. We'll see. I don't even know if this is the same size. I think it is. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing because I can't look up and if you can't sorry that's about all I can say my info yeah you can see oops did I bend it in I did I think I'm going to change this one I just want to see what it's going to look like. Okay. I'm going to call that done. Mm -hmm. Let me just move these. I'm sorry for that noise. I really need this to be not there. Okay. My space is 
messy. Messy, messy. So here we go. This is the final look at the pretty pink tree. I like the dimension of the five branches. The only thing I don't like is that branch. I just don't like that. It's not my favorite, but that's the back. I mean, when you hang it up in a window, it looks good on either side. You see the dimension down in here? Can you see? I don't know if you can see it. Like this one is behind this one. This one is in front. You can see this is behind. This was in, in front. That one's coming from behind. In front and behind. I like that. Like my manicure. Beautiful. Not. <laughs> okay, guys. I say we're going to call this a day. I'll take a little video and then I'll post it and we'll be done. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.